Hey, this is Chris with vidsociety.com and today I wanted to make a quick video with a new service that I've been using to use for my proxies or my IPs and it, it has been working very, very well. And it's called Packet Stream and I'll put the link below this video where you can go check it out. Uh, but what this is, is this is real residential IPs or proxies that you're using. So basically how this works is you can download and you don't have to do this. You can just buy um, bandwidth if you want to. But what I've done is I downloaded their app on my computer. And you can see here where it says packet stream background process is running. So basically what this is doing is it's running in the background on my computer for other tasks uh, that maybe other people are using it for. And so it's using bandwidth from residential customers own computers to do certain tasks. And then when it does that, it gives you free credits. Now, like I said, you don't have to let it run on your computer if you don't want to. You can just buy bandwidth. It's actually really cheap, um, but I let this run because it builds up my available funds so I can just keep using it more and more without really having to buy any extra credit. But once you go here and you sign up, uh, you got your main dashboard, which is this page here, and it shows you how much your balance you have left, how much traffic you've purchased, how much you've sold and down here it shows a graph of how much you've used and so over the fifty dollars that i've purchased over this past week uh, you can see i've only used like a dollar and 64 cents of it and so i'm also um, earning uh, credits now as well so if i go into uh, download this is where you can download the app to use it on your own computer so you can earn credits and then you also have network access and this is where you're going to get your details for your IP or your proxy and this is really powerful here so let's go ahead into here okay and I'm gonna have my stuff blocked out here obviously because I don't want nobody else using it but the way this works is you got a lot of options here you can choose to use HTTP or SSL you can choose to base it on specific countries. So if there's only a specific country you want your IP or proxy to be running from, that's where you'd choose it. I normally just run mine from US. You can randomize the proxies, which is what I recommend unless you just wanna use one of them just, uh, just to keep running on your computer. But for my task and different things I do, I, I randomize it. And then you got DNS uh, host name, or you can do an IP host name, which you can see basically what that does is it changes the proxy host to uh, an actual IP. And so for most tools that you use, this is what you're gonna be using. You got your IP, you got your port, your username and your password. And your password is gonna change based upon if you select any country. So if I choose like Canada, it's gonna change my, uh, the last part of my password to say Canada or United States is going to change it to say United States. And so this is what you're going to use. And what I've been doing is I've actually been using this on one of my new tools that allows me to uh, keep Gmail or YouTube accounts alive. And what it'll do is do random tasks on these accounts just to make them look like they're actually signing in and they're doing browsing and all this other stuff. Um, and I use this randomized IP proxy and this packet stream is so powerful that each time it chooses a different account to use this one, uh, it never asks for the username or the password or to re-log in or it never blocks my account because these are real residential proxies and that's what Google sees them as. And so because of that, um, it's never asking me to reconfirm my accounts or anything like that, even though it uses a different proxy each time for the same account. So this is one of the tools I use. Um, I'm finding tremendous benefits from it. And it's something that I'm hoping some of you guys can use as well, especially if you use the Stacker Suite tools and some of the future ones that we're gonna be launching here very soon. Uh, this is an ideal tool to use for those as well.